Free running has changed our lives in ways that we could have never imagined. After the Red Bull Art of Motion this year, we set out on a world tour. We screen our film, host jams, train with top athletes in our sport, and interact with communities all around the world. But sometimes, things just don't seem to go as planned. Whoa! What the fuck? I'm Corey DeMyers. And I'm Jesse LaFlair. And we're going Off, off the, the Edge. edge. On behalf of United and the entire flight crew, we would like to welcome you to JFK International Airport, where the local time is 9.35. We just arrived at my home, my childhood house where my parents live, and uh, I didn't even, don't know if anyone's home, but we'll see if we can get in and see if my key still works. It's always good to spend time with family and friends who I rarely get to see. This is it. We used to have a half pipe over there. See all this green metal? Come on, you see all the holes? And it used to be right here and went all the way to the fence. Where we have about an eight, ten foot drop in? Eight foot. I got knocked out on it. I was using a sled at the time. And some alcohol. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, my buddy used to live directly across the street. He used to have big sets of dirt jumps that went all through here in the yard. It's probably still like oil barrels buried in the ground where we used to use for jumps. <laughs> Do your damn chores now, Joe. Just put the mold on the ground, wrecking the yard, find them and kill them. <laughs> That evening, I received a call from Corey, who was still in LA trying to work out the final plan for the quickly approaching world tour. He called to tell me that our own team, Tempest, came through with enough funding at the last minute to allow us to fully attempt an abbreviated version of our dream tour. So we moved some dates around and worked together to finalize the plans. It's been so long since I've been back in the city, it was just nice to return to where it all started for me. So we're about to head up to the Empire State Building. Um, the whole time I lived in New York, I never really did anything touristy. But I realized after I left that it was kind of a, a missed opportunity to check out some amazing things. So there's some awesome views up top and uh, I look forward to looking at them. Sometimes stepping back allows you to appreciate things in a new light. We tried to get on one of our next trains, we found out it was cancelled. But everything happens for a reason. As we stood there figuring out what to do next, I got approached by a bunch of kids who recognized me from my YouTube channel. We were about to head down to Brooklyn, uh, ran into some other free runners, so we just decided to follow them to a training spot that I've never been to. Apparently, the word had gotten out that I was at that spot training. Oh my god! Uh, so tight. That was weird. That was pretty rad. 
I actually had a really fun session. I've been seeing this spot in videos for a while. I never knew where it was, so uh, pretty awesome that we got to come train here today. Now we're gonna go explore some more. It had already been an amazing day in Manhattan, but I decided not to end it there. A bunch of kids convinced me to stay late and meet them at one of New York's most successful freerunning gyms, the Brooklyn Zoo. I'm exhausted. Training was awesome. Uh, definitely is going to help for Santorini just to get back out there. I didn't really expect to do this while we came to New York, but I'm glad we did. Time to go home and catch some rest. Peace. New York was a great opportunity to help clear my mind, but we were about to embark on one of the most ambitious adventures of our lives. And it was time to go meet up with Corey and the rest of the crew at our first stop, the Red Bull Art of Motion.